Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. I once again return to this world with the fancy skybox to show you another small fighter. And this one is called the Blade Fighter, which is this thing right here. It's another one of these long facing fighters, much like the Sky Diva that I showcased many months ago. Except this one has folding wings that can retract straight into the body, allowing you to connect up with those connectors on the side. So pressing F10 and finding the Sky Diva first, that was that, if you can recognise it, if I just come and double click it, don't think it had any mods on it, was that, such a long time ago I did that. Yes, that was the Sky Diva and this is the Blade Fighter, there it is. So the Blade Fighter is 471 small blocks using no mods and no DLC packs, so it's great for survival mode just to spawn in and play around with. So this fighter comes equipped with ion thrusters only, so you can only use it in space and on some moons, and it has a lot of weapon trees on it. Its one downfall, however, is its stopping speed, which you'll see later on just how bad that is. Let me just go and move my character out of the way, down he goes, and now it's time to take a look at this. So we're going to start by going around the outside, then we're going to have a little fly around and show you what this can do. So at the very front here, we've got a camera to let us view straight forwards. We can't use our cockpit because it sits behind all these blocks. A reloadable rocket launcher sits just behind the camera. We've got some spotlights and Gatling guns galore. At the top over here, we've got a sneaky ore detector to let you find some precious resources if you wanted to do a quick repair job. And as we move down, we've got some connectors right there, but you will need to retract the wings down before you can connect up to something big. Unless, of course, you're using a smaller ship. As we move down the front, we've got some regular rocket launchers that sit right there, and a bunch of ion thrusters. Now, like I said earlier, these ion thrusters are not enough to make it stop in a reasonable amount of time. So you do have to kind of do a 180 and boost forwards if you want to stop quick. As we move down this ship, we've got another spotlight and the start of some blast door edges that come all the way down to this feature right here. So this sits at the very bottom and it hides some ion thrusters right there. And as we start to move up the side, we see even more. We've got some lovely block work, there's the side of our connector, and we have a camera to view left and right. We can also see how the wings on the back have been attached via that rotor, and how they're going to fold down and be nice and neat. As for the wings themselves, they are simply window blocks, come all the way across to some damaged LCD screens to make them smoke. That way, when you move forwards, you leave some trails behind you. As for the back of this ship, we've got plenty of ion thrusters to make sure we can scoot around at some high speeds. We have a button there which will retract that piston right there, which will allow you access to the back of the cockpit, like so. And as we move down, we've got a merge block to clip yourself onto a larger ship if you wish to retire to your quarters for the day and whatnot. Some blast door edges, some large ion thrusters, and then we come down to the blast or edge piece at the bottom. Now if I was to come all the way up to the top, I did see some batteries in there which I forgot to mention. We've got some ion thrusters to help with downward thrust. But through this little window here we can see our cockpit and this is the kind of view we get. Not a great view, but enough to see a meteor coming towards you that's about to clonk you on the head. And we've got some programmable blocks there just to show you a little bit of information. So the clock, your speeds, your gravity, and all that. But as for that, that is it for the outside. It's a bloody fantastic design. So now it's time for me to get into my character and drive this thing around. So coming around to the back, I don't know why I went to the front, we need to press this button right here. Retracts the piston and now we can go look inside. So this is what we get. Like I said, the view is not great, but we do have a camera to view dead forwards, which makes it a lot better. So number one is the view dead forwards on there. And number two is to shoot all our Gatling guns at once. Number three is for our regular rocket launchers down there. Number four is for our reloadable rocket launchers that sit up there. They fire bottom then top. And then if I come around to the back and press number five, we can retract the swings down so we're nice and flush on these sides. There they go, there's the smoke trail. And now we can safely connect up to those connectors on our larger ship. Number six and number seven are to disconnect or to lock those connectors. Number eight is the view on the left hand side and number 9 is the view on the right hand side. As for tab 3, 4 and 5, there is nothing else on this so we can now fly this thing around. 
So deploying the wings, once again, there is a slight delay when they do that. They just fold out and snap. Then we can just fly forwards and we get trail behind us. So this is the speed we're getting. It does not take long to reach the maximum speed, but if I was to stop, this is our stopping speed, which is not great. But we can fix that by doing a 180, and we can do a almost perfect 180 thanks to that smoke trail. And there we are. We stopped very, very quickly thanks to that. Going left and going right, we are quite slow with some slow stopping speed. Going backwards, going down, and then going up, we are quite slow. So most of our thrust is for going forwards. And now we're going to fly around. Where's that? We want to head over to that. And I'm just going to test by pressing number five. Can they deploy without clanging? Yes, they can. So maximum speed, undeploying, or deploying the wings, in fact. There we go. And that is done. So now I'm just going to very quickly stop myself, like so. And we're going to go shoot up that ship I showcased yesterday. So finally the camera, switching to that. Let's start tearing it apart. So that ship, which is very reminiscent of the original dropship with how it's been set up. Yes, I know it doesn't look like it, but to me, it still reminds me of it. We can just blast it into pieces with those Gatling guns, switching to the rocket launchers. We can do a nice bit of damage, but those Gatling guns are going to be doing majority of the work for you. So there we are, we're going to blast that into pieces, take out their thrusters, and just chew through all their blocks. And there we go, we must have hit a oxygen tank or a hydrogen tank hidden away in there. Surely good stuff. So anyway, that is it for the Blade Fighter. It's a fantastic little design with some novel folding wings, if that's what you're interested in. So a link to it will be in the description below if you do want to play around and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.